Hi everyone, this is Laura. Welcome to my channel. Today I have some card shares for you guys. Uh, before we get to the project though, I just want to remind you guys that DiamondDies.com has the most amazing stainless steel dies um, available for sale now at Amazon as well as the Diamond Dye Store. We also have a Facebook page, a YouTube channel where you can go and subscribe as well as like uh, so that you can be kept up to date with all the giveaways, challenges, and whatever monthly hops, uh, projects that the other design team members have. It's a great way just to keep updated with all the comings and goings that Diamond Dyes has going on. Especially during the holidays, we always have amazing sales. I also want to remind you that any orders, $35 or more, will have free shipping, and that's anywhere in the world. And if you use my coupon code, thanks Laura, you will automatically receive 10% off your total purchase order. So, that being said, I'd like to move my sign now and just share with you some of the dies that I used for this project. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I made a lot of Christmas cards and I didn't, I only did a few little small Christmas six by six layouts, but with all the gloomy rain that we've been having up here um, where I am at, uh, I kind of wanted something to cheer me up and nothing cheers me up more than the diamond dies flower dies I love making flowers with these dies and for this project I believe that I used the cherry blossom die set which is this die here now this also comes with a branch I love this die set I also used my dogwood flower set which is these guys right here I used my Monarch Butterfly set, which are these two over here. Love, love the detail on this cut. I also used my Nature's Flourish die, which I've said a million times is my favorite flourish die of all the flourish dies I have. This is definitely one of my faves. And I used the Must Have Mini Butterflies. Now, this has... Um, a lot of other little flower, uh, not flowers, but it has, yeah, it does have a teeny tiny flower. It has a little chickadee. There's um other things that are included in this set. I just happened to pull out just the butterflies because it also has leaves. It has a chickadee, and I love the little chickadee. It's great for spring and Easter, which is right around the corner. I also used my aster flower set, which are these guys over here. And I believe I also used my sugar plum set, which are these over here. So let me share with you. Oh, I did use one other die set. And this was, it was more of a collaboration. I almost forgot to take the, um, <laughs> the die set out because it was a diamond dies project. I sometimes kind of forget. Um, I did use also this set here, which is the Spellbinders labeled 39 to create the cards that I am going to share with you now. These both are five by seven cards. They are birthday cards. In addition to the diamond dies and the Spellbinder dies that I shared with you, I also use this happy birthday die cut which is from I believe I purchased it from Dynamics so let's get started with the card I am looking for my little pokey stick here we go so as you can see here it's a five by seven card and I cut out several layers of white cardstock and green cardstock against this design paper. I also added some flat back pearls all the way around. Here on the bottom, I did not um, I did not use any foam dots, so it does lay flat only because I was going to have a lot of bulk with the flowers and I didn't want it to be 
too too bulky I added some stickles to the outer edge of all the all the die cuts as well as the flowers here these two flowers here are the aster flowers um, and then I cut out of white cardstock and then I added some flat back pearls to the center of those here and here are and here are the dogwood flowers and those I distressed with shabby shutters and here I added a little gem this one I added a pearl and this one I added another little pearl I also added some of my sprays um, I added another little die cut back here of a little branch here's my nature's flourish die I don't know if you guys can tell but on the nature's flourish die I um, added some of these things these are liquid pearls the white opal I just love them they give any dye and flower such a really pretty pretty touch and then here is where I use the monarch butterfly and it's a beautiful big butterfly and I added the pearls to the center over here is where I use the mini must-have butterflies and I also added a little pearl to the center and they're so teeny I love them <laughs> they're so cute here underneath the ribbon peeking out over here and over here is where I use the cherry blossom flower dies and then I added this gross grain ribbon I just um, added a piece across the card I also added some of my lace I don't know if you can see the lace over here I added the ribbon and then I just made a little bow and I glued that down on top and then I added these little silver over here I added silver too to the flowers and I've been having so much fun um, trying to make elegant cards <coughs> I'm trying to make cards um, with more of a floral arrangement and um, I'm trying to make them look a little bit more elegant and girly um, and then on the inside I have the Marnock butterfly with the three little pearls as a center point and here is where I'll write my little message and I just die cut that with the spellbinders die and added some of the flat fat pearls and a ribbon the corners I cut out with my corner chomper and that's that card and it is a hinge card I have it hinged on the top and then this card here although it is the exact same color and I used all of the same flowers it is quite different uh, for starters I used an embossed background and that's the basket weave by Darcy embossing folder and then I use the die cuts um, like I did with the first card I also added pearls and I have two layers here the matting in the back I actually fussy cut that by hand I just traced the um, outline of the first layer and then to the bottom of this I added some lace again my gross grain ribbon with this card though I added a buckle and a little heart to the center of that buckle which I glued down with hot glue and then I have a floral arrangement and again here are the little must-have butterflies I have another one over here these are the cherry blossom flowers they all have silver little centers this is where the dogwood flower is these are the aster flowers this here is the sugar plum flower and what I did was I just wet that and scrunched it all up this one too and I think it almost to me it almost looks like one of those open roses the um, crunchy ones that they sell at wild orchids um, and then I have some sprays here's my nature's um, flourish I really love that flourish dye and I have it here and here and some more sprays and the lace and the ribbon run underneath that as well I was really happy with these cards I love the way they came out I 
I was feeling a little blue with all the rain these last two weeks that we were having. And I wanted to work on something pretty and cheery and fun. And this really picked up my spirits. And I tell you, I keep saying this and, you know, <laughs> unless you guys have seen a video that I don't know of, ever since I started making my flowers with my diamond dye dyes, I don't have a need to purchase flowers anymore. Um, I don't go to Walker Orchids Crafts. I don't go to um, I Am Roses anymore. And I love them, guys. They make beautiful flowers. But I'm saving a ton of money now with my flower dyes. And not only that, I also get to custom make the colors to match my projects perfectly. Because I can use the exact same papers as I did with these dogwood flowers. Um, the papers that I used are actually this paper, this design paper here. It's the alternate side, which is the plain green, which is what you see where I cut out this as well, and the butterfly too, and that's why it matches so perfectly. Um, and that's what I love about dyes, um, that you can take any dye and a little bit of paper and let just your imagination go crazy. You can make anything. You don't need stamps. You don't need anything else. As long as you, as, as long as you have a few dyes in your arsenal, you can just come up with six, seven different ways to use that same dye. And that's really what I love about using dyes. You're just limited by your imagination. And I love these butterfly dies. Oh, then on the inside of this one, I continue with the embossed basket weave design. Again, um, the die cut so that I can write my sentiment. And for this one, I also put a monarch butterfly in the front with some flat back pearls and some ribbon. And I have these big silver flat back pearls in the corner. So, I think anyone who would receive these birthday cards would be very happy and would say to themselves, wow, somebody made me a handmade birthday card. And they really went out of their way to make a really pretty card. Or at least that's what I hope <laughs> would be the... Um, the um, result of them opening the card. I hope you guys enjoyed my project today and I hope this inspired you to maybe go on over to Diamond Dyes and pick up a few of these beautiful floral dyes, maybe the Monarch Butterfly dye. I really, really love um, having these in my dyes. These dyes in particular in my arsenal because the flourish dye, you you get a couple of flower dyes, a couple of butterfly dyes and a flourish dye, and you are set. You are good. You can start making lots and lots of pretty little cards. And even if you don't have a um, happy birthday dye, you can always substitute that with other things, stamps, stickers, chipboard, uh, stickers, whatever you have. I hope you all have a blessed day, and I hope you all go on over to Diamond Dyes. Check out those amazing, beautiful dyes that we have on sale, and don't forget to use my coupon code. Thanks, Laura. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.